What's up you guys, I'm Landon, and this is Leroy right here. And welcome to IO, this is where we overload you with information. So guess what? The six day manhunt for Chris Dorner has finally come to an end. This was an ex LAPD officer and also an ex United States Naval Reservist. He was a prime suspect in the Southern California shootings that left four people dead including three officers. Chris was a guy who was kicked out of the LAPD because he claims it was due to a false discharge. This was when he exposed some of the police injustice that was going on. He even said in one report that other police officers planted drugs on him to set him up to look like the bad cop. So this is what he said, and I quote, I am not an inspiring rapper. I'm not a gang member. I'm not a dope dealer. I'm a man who has lost complete faith in the system when the system betrayed, slandered, and libeled me. He wrote in the manifesto that his intentions and that he was going to go after all the police officers that were involved in the corruption that he was trying to expose. One of these claims was that he saw his superior tasering a mentally ill suspect. And after seeing that, of course, he thought it was wrong. He also kicked him in the chest and in his face. Yo, really? Talk about police brutality. Yeah, so brutal. And he presented this to the courts, but it was later dismissed. Well, yeah, you know, we have a cop snitching on another cop, so of course it's gonna be dismissed. You know, they have this thing going around, oh, don't snitch, no snitching. Wow, so now we have this cop that said that he's going around killing all these police officers and their families. People are gonna slowly die until the truth comes out. This actually became the biggest manhunt in LAPD history. Later, Chris Dorner was reportedly found in a cabin that was set on fire. They don't even know how it started, but all they know is that Chris Dorner could have been inside. And now they say they found a body, but they have no clue who it is. Yo, that sounds a bit fishy. All of a sudden, a fire breaks out and it kills this guy. Sources are saying that it actually might have been a suicide. But come on, are you serious right now? This guy was probably already found in the cabin and it was set on fire. Or what if they got there and it was already set on fire and they just decided, yeah, we, we're gonna let it burn for a little longer. We're not gonna put it out right away. Because what if he has evidence in there that is gonna put us away for a very long time? Play it out like a true Hollywood movie, huh? Well, now it's time for you guys to overload us. What do you guys think? Do you believe Chris Dorner? Was he a victim of racism? But you know what, Leroy? Even if he was a victim, I honestly don't think he should've went on a rampage killing police officers and their families. 